Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today, I'm gonna to make something really, really cute for you. It's a little bag made out of duct tape. Now I know what you're thinking. Sophie, you make a lot of bags out of duct tape, but guess what? This one has a secret. It's got an interior made out of a, ready for this? Tarp. That's right. This has a base that is made out of a tarp. What does that mean? Well, it means that you can stretch that duct tape much farther. You're gonna be able to make many more products out of one roll of duct tape than you would if you didn't use this tarp. Now I know if you are a if you're one of those people that only wants to use duct tape, you're a purist, I get it, I understand it. But let's face it, duct tape is expensive and I wanna give you the opportunity to make more with your duct tape than just one roll's worth of things. And that's why I'm gonna teach you how to use a tarp to make a purse. Check it out. Oh, one other thing that I really love about using tarps. See, they have these little built-in grommets that you can turn into the little handles. Aren't those cute? So let me show you how to make a duct tape purse with a tarp inside. So for this project, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need some tarp, and we've cut the tarp to 18 inches long by seven inches wide. You're gonna need a ruler. You're gonna need some duct tape, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher, and some key rings. Now, if you don't have key rings, you can also use paper clips or you could use pipe cleaners. And for this project, I'm going to be using magnets as my closure, but you can also use Velcro or you can make a slip strap as we've done in other projects. The first step, I'm going to cover my tarp with duct tape. Now, you may decide that you'd like to have the blue side on the pretty side on the inside of your purse. And so for that, you would cover the back side of your tarp. I'm just gonna measure and cover the entire back. And I'm just taking my strips and covering the entire back of this tarp. I'm gonna jump ahead here. And now I've got my tarp all covered on one side, but as you can see, the other side is still tarp. So I've saved myself a lot of duct tape already. I'm going to trim so that it's nice and neat and that there are no sticky edges. Now I'm going to fold my bag I'm going to measure up seven inches and fold and crease. Now I'm going to use a different colored duct tape, although if you wanted to, you could use the same, but I'm going to take seven inches of duct tape and I'm going to rip this in half and seal my edges like I would do a normal purse. I'm going to place my ripped piece of tape, half of it on one side so that the half hangs over, and then I'm gonna seal it by folding over that sticky half. I'm gonna repeat the process on the same, on the opposite side. One half over, so that the sticky side folds over and seals both sides. Now I've got myself a nice little pouch. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold up my corners I'm going to fold the corner up and I'm going to secure with tape. I'm just going to use a nice little piece of tape right there in the corner to hold it in place. So now I've got both my corners done and I'm going to reinforce the inside by ripping that tape in half just like I did for the outside. And I'm just going to reinforce the inside by placing a strip of tape inside along that edge. This also seals any stickiness from the tape that might have uh, happened while I was sealing it. I'm going to do this on both sides. 
just to make sure that it is nice and secure. So now I'm going to trim the top. I'm going to cut in about an inch and a half on each side and I'm going to get rid of that little extra that I used. Now the reason I'm cutting in at about an inch and a half is because otherwise it's going to stick over the side, which is not what I want. I want to make it nice and flat flap. So I've cut in an inch and a half. I folded over my flap on top of itself so that I got a nice, even, and solid, secured top. There I go. And now I'm going to pinch my edges together right at the top and I'm going to use my hole punch. Now you're going to need a really good hole punch because you're going to want to make sure that it can go through two layers at a time here. There's one layer and the second layer. And I'm going to do this on the other side as well. So I pinch in that central part fold it over so that they meet. At that pinch, I'm going to make a hole and a second hole. This is going to allow me perfect access for my key ring. So I'm going to open up this key ring and I'm going to slide it through. Now you can also, like I said before, you can also use, you can also use a uh, paper clip which is much easier to use in this case because it opens up. Key rings, you kind of have to futz with them to get them open there a little bit. Sometimes they can hurt your nails a little bit when you're doing it as well. But you can open it up there and you're going to slide it through the first set of holes and then the second set of holes so that they join together. Whoops. Let me try that one more time there. I must have missed. <laughs> This is why sometimes a paper clip is easier because you can open up the paper clip and make it go. There we go. And so now I've got my key ring and it's secured both sides. Now I'll do the other side the same exact way. With a paper clip too, the nice thing that you can do is that you can actually go through both sets of holes at the same time. But the reason I like key rings is because that they are uh, they're really solid and they're really good and they give you a nice place to hook your strap. And there you have it. So now it's ready for its strap. It's also ready for its closure. Now for my strap, what I used was I actually cut my tarp where it has its grommets. And these grommets are going to be great because they are going to be perfect for attaching to my key rings. So I'm going to trim right around the grommet on either side. And then I'm going to attach. Now I can also embellish this as much as I like. And here you can see I've added a little bit of those cute little penguins and some of the yellow to pick it all up. And now I'm just going to slip these right on to the key ring. And this is why the key rings are so nice and, and a little bit better than those uh, paper clips because they actually slide in there and really secure in because they ring around. There we go. I'm going to slide it around, slide it around, slide it around, and it's in. And now I've got a fabulous strap attached. And now all I need to do is my closure. Now, for my closure, I'm going to be using two magnets. First thing I'm going to do is attach one magnet to my tape and place the tape down and secure by sealing it with my fingers. Now, this is my favorite part. I'm going to take a piece of tape and place the tape on top of the other piece of tape, sticky side up. Now I'm just going to drop the magnet and that's going to secure it and make sure that it's going in the right direction because magnets are polarized, which means that they either push each other away or they attract each other and you want to make sure that you get them going in the right direction. Now I've folded it over and secured that tape in place and there you have it. An adorable duct tape purse using half the amount of duct tape that you would normally.
Now I want to share with you some of the duct tape um, purses that actually my sister Frida made because she went to town with this idea of using the, um, the tarp as the base. So just so you can see that you can have just as much fun with less duct tape. Check this out. So this is a big bag. It's got a ribbon handle and I love this. Look, there's an inside pocket and this again has a tarp on the inside. So that's one. That's a nice big one. We have the famous watermelon purse, which has not done any worse the wear for using tarp on the inside. You can see that was a really special tarp that had uh, polka dots on it. This one, I love this one because it's got this big strap and we've used the grommets here to put it together to make that strap. So this is a nice sturdy bag. And then I love these because they're so tiny. Aren't these cute? They have a little pocket in the front, a little, little handle. So see what's great about these tarps is that out of one tarp, you can get about, this is a, like a six by eight tarp, you can get about 30 to 50 purses. It's a pretty good, pretty good deal, huh? Especially when you consider the fact that a tarp only costs about four or five dollars. And duct tape, it's about five bucks a roll, at least where we live. So this is definitely going to be one of those things that will help you stretch that duct tape. For more ideas on how to stretch that duct tape, check us out at sophie-world.com.